Okay, so the tiger's area is perfectly clean now. And uh, I'm going to open up for them. There's no reason for me to leave them there. First, maybe we can even clean up over there. I wonder why they're not running out. <laughs> because they want to walk around the water. <laughs> Look at this. So, you guys love water. Except when it's for free <laughs> oh man look at him walking around the water doesn't want to get his paws wet that Diego <laughs> he smells something well don't need to explain to Enzo that I put chlorine in his pool he just picked it up immediately. Already turning silly. Yeah, someone asked me in the comment section and they explained it very well about a tiger that lives maybe six years in the wild as a tiger or maybe 30 years in an enclosure like this which one well will be the best and i think everybody will have a different answer on that it depends on your way of thinking what do you want to achieve now the only thing i want to achieve is i want these tigers to have a happy life without damaging anyone else's so that's my main goal here is to just give them what i can and i think the most important thing that i can give them is my time and the effort and making sure that they have what they need when they need it but if they had to live out in the wild they will probably not have known anything else apart from when they see something it's food and um, I think that is what I have given them I've given them an opportunity to get to know other things I mean even those birds right there just look at them they're just like little tigers only they can fly and <laughs> yeah they are something else but the tigers know them and the doves and all of the cats and dogs and each other I mean if they were out in the wild <laughs> the chances that Enzo and Diego would have been friends is probably zero oh sissy leave them alone but yeah, it's a conversation that I guess you can change as you go along because we try and picture a tiger's life according to what we want and maybe that is not what a tiger is for but then again this is not the wild and these tigers are here and simply what I'm doing is giving them something and they can appreciate it I can see it every single day how they appreciate it they love it and I have to say I love giving them what I can cause I oh, see <laughs> just look at this and it's not only the tigers it's the monkeys it's the cats it's the dogs it's all of these animals I like to give them what I can and to see them enjoy it I don't want them to kill anything that is it that's all I ask and well they don't <laughs> and the thing is 
I do keep them away from the possibility of being well what they are known for for instance I don't want sissy going in there but she does rub up against this fence constantly and the tigers have gotten used to that and they know her but I want them to accept her because over here that is what we do we are not trying to basically let them be tigers because if we're gonna do that <gasps> sissy you can't do that well she just did but she's not supposed to i'll explain it to her later but yeah that is a very difficult thing so basically what i am doing here is almost the opposite of nature <laughs> although i know that nature rules and I am simply prolonging certain parts of it that never used to survive. And I think that is what humans are here to do, is to enjoy life and to make it a little bit better where nature is just a little bit unforgiving. We bring a certain kind of compassion to nature or we are able to if we do it we do it some people don't some people enhance the cruelty part of nature and that is their choice and you cannot explain it to them they don't want to change because that is the state that they are in that is their nature so Everybody will do something different. That is the beauty of this. This is what I do. So, I, I guess you guys are getting to know me a little bit too well. And I guess I have basically given up on any kind of privacy whatsoever. <laughs> but then again, I am proud of the mindset that I am in and I don't need to hide it and I don't feel like hiding it and I hope it rubs off on others so <laughs> yeah you get to a point where you don't have any desire <laughs> to impress or to show off or well, any of those things and I guess that's where I'm at I am purely showing so much because I don't have a reason not to I've gotten over the bad comments and I've gotten over people's thoughts that is inaccurate I do not care about it and I don't think I ever will I care about what I know is right or wrong and I enhance that and the rest just fades away it falls off me like water on a duck's back <laughs> Diego now I will have to be convinced if this is not the right way <laughs> and i don't think that is going to be possible because i can see what i can see and i'm very honest with myself i think if there's one person that you should be honest with it is with yourself then you can be honest with the others it doesn't matter because sometimes they will not be on the same page as you but you are on the same page as yourself you can just do what you think is right and if you were wrong well at least you will not have to explain it to yourself <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, this conversation is one of those conversations that can never end. It will just keep on going because as we learn new things, if you are honest with yourself, you will be able to change what you think. And I think that is the position where I am at. I do not find myself in that position where I have to act because of something that doesn't matter. And if it matters, I change my thoughts immediately. I am very, very particular on that. Enzo, <laughs> are you ready for your birthday, Enzo? It's the whole weekend. So, I've got a few special things for him. And uh, he's going to love it. <laughs> well, let me get going. I've got things to go and do. And two tigers to treat. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you get something from that. And I hope you get the right things from that. Well, like always, have a great day. <laughs>